side to side, slowly up. Good. Right, and two. Engage the quad, then we go. You need to fit this to the flexible <laughs> a little bit. Again, hands underneath shoulders. Okay, we're going to slide the foot out to the side. Ready? Slide it out. And in. Left, slide. And in. Right, slide. And in. Left, slide. And in. Right, slide. And in. Left, slide. And in. Then the knees again, nice and slowly. Good, it's funny not having a head. <laughs> <laughs> right, core engaged, one more time, there we go. Touch the floor, floor forwards. Again, hands underneath shoulders. Right, we're going to do a frog. So you're taking your knee to outside your elbow. So right. Take it in, and back, left, and back, right, and back, left, and back, right, and back, left, and back, knees down, and forward, step. I'll roll down to feet, knees and hips in line, slight bend of the knees, arm back in front. We're going to be doing single arm, okay? Right then, left. Up shoulders, chin up chest, engage your core. Back, tilt, lower. Right, good. And lower, which is the opposite. Left, good. And lower. Come back up. Nice and tall. Back, tilt. Lower, right, lift, and lower, left, lift, and lower, back up, back, tilt, lower, right, lift, do it again, lower, <laughs> left, lift, and lower, come back up, back, tilt, lower, right, lift, and lower, left, lift. And lower, come back, back, tilt, lower, right, lift, and lower, left, lift, and lower, come back up, nice and tall, one more, back, tilt, lower, right, lift, and lower, left, lift, and lower, come back up, and then we rest, good. So, next one we're going to do is arms out to the side. So, we're going to go right, left, and then in. Okay? <laughs> but that's all, it's only out to the side. We're not doing all this. So you can't cope with that first one back. Right, step right and tilt down the shoulders, chin up chest, engage your core. Back, tilt, lower. Okay, right, out, left, out, right, in, left, in. Come back up, nice and tall. Back, tilt, lower, left, out, right, out, right, in, left, in, back up. Back, tilt, lower, left, out, right, out, right, in, left, in, come back up. We're going to do both here now. Back, tilt, lower, both, out. And in, come back up, much easier. Back, tilt, lower, both, out, in, back up, nice and tall, one more. Back, tilt, lower, both, out, in, come back up, and relax. Good. I'm going to do one of these now. 
on your side, don't need to part the way. Leg them out as long as you can. Top hip onto bottom hip. Bend your through spine and then engage your core. We are going to do the side leg same. So remember with this one, we slide the foot up to the knee and lean facing the ceiling. Okay? I'm going to check to see if you're doing any good. Yeah. Right, once you engage your core, slide that foot up and then try and get that knee without tilting your hip. Get it as close to the ceiling as you can. Okay, ready? Lift. And bend. Lift. And bend. That's it. Lift. And bend. 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 Two more. Lift. And bend. Lift. And bend. Foot to the knee. Slide it back down. Right, now do the knee lift. So keep lengthening. Neutral spine, core engaged. Take both legs off the floor. Ready, top knee into chest. And back. In. Much easier. And back. In. 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 And back. One more. In. And back. Top one to bottom. Relax. Well done. You can roll over. Turn the other way. And then lengthen out as long as you can. Again, top lip onto bottom hip, neutral spine, engage your core. So taking both legs off the floor. If you can, don't mind your car now, slide that foot. Knee should be facing the ceiling as far as you possibly can. Ready? Lift. Straight leg and back. Lift and lower. 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 Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. One more. Lift. And lower. Slide it back down. Relax it. Well done. Do I need lift now? So keep lengthening. Keep your spine core engaged. Take both legs off the floor. Top knee into chest. And back. Nice control. In. And back. 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 Two more. In. And back. In. And back. Top one to 
bottom, your back to your knees. Yeah. Well done. Right, you're going to go onto your back snack. And we're going to do some hundreds. Now, if you fancy using the ball for your hundreds, you know, because I'm sure you have at home. So you're getting on the ball, getting comfortable. Okay. Arms by your sides, melt your shoulders, soft your feet together, toes out, heels where the toes were. Those are arms on the ball, tap into the mat, arch up, find neutral, and then all of us engage your core. Okay, we're doing nice simple hundreds tonight, so the right leg up into the hundred. If you haven't got the ball, then really tip your left leg up. Okay, we're doing right leg, left arm out. And in. Nice and roll. The out breath, then reach out. And in. Change out. And in. Change out. And in. Change out. And in. Change out. And in. Lower or right to the floor. Lower your left down. Good. Okay. We're going to do um, bent leg touchdowns. Okay, now we're just touching the heel or the toe to the floor each time. Neutral spine, body engage, get your right leg up into the hundred. In bent, left leg, lift. Okay, so ready? Right, touch down. And up. Left, down. And up. Right, down. And up. Left down and up. Right down and up. Left down and up. Lower your right to the floor. Lower your left down. Excellent. So now we're going to do a double. If you can't manage your double, then carry on doing the single. Okay? Neutral spine, or engage, right leg. Into the hundred, in print, left leg, lift. Ready? Uh, both or single, lower. And up. 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 One more. Lower. And up. Lower your right to the floor. Lower your left down. Right, we need some tea chest. I'm sure you can do that one for Yes. Okay, keep back down. Again, we're going to keep together, start, toes out, heels where the toes were. If you're not on the ball, back into the mat, arch up, find neutral, and engage your core. Now, those of you who are on the ball, if you want to take your arms as you reach across the floor to get some balance, you may do so. Take your right leg up into the hundred, infant, left leg, lift, right leg up to the Get that leg as straight as you can. Okay, ready? Lower it down. Towards the floor. And back up. To the ceiling. And again, lower it down. And up. Lower it down. And up. One more, lower it down, and up. Back into the hundred position, lower it to the floor, lower the other one down. Good. 
Good. Okay, we'll do the same with the left. Keep your spine again. Core engaged, left leg. Up into the hundred. And bridge, right leg in. Okay, left leg up to the ceiling. Straight as you can, lower it down. And back up. Lower. And up. Lower. Up. Lower. And up. Back into the hundred position. Lower it to the floor. Lower, lower, lower. Well done, so I can take you all the way with me as you go. Good balance there. Excellent, right, we're going to come to knees now. discovered over this period of time, if you're on your hands and knees on a thick mat, it actually hurts your wrists more. Because they sink in, it hurts the wrists, which is why I've got one on the floor. Just try it and see what you think, because you might find you can't even say it. Right, so I've got the hands underneath shoulders and knees underneath hips. Then arch your back up as high as you can to the ceiling. Push it down to the floor. And now try and make sure you're happy with your neutral position. Engage your core. Right, we're going to do a bit of glute work and we're going to do a fire hydrant with a straight leg. So remember you're taking the leg out to the side and then straightening it. So we're going to start off with the left leg. Keep your body weight central between both those hands. Lift the left knee so you're ready. Take it out to the side. Straighten it back in and then lower it down. So out to the side. Straighten. In. And lower. To the side. Straighten. In. And lower. To the side, straighten, in, and lower. To the side, straighten, in, and lower. One more. Out to the side, straighten, in, and lower it down. Right, we're going to go straight over to the other side. So keep your body weight central. Core engaged. Right, lift it off the floor, take it up to the side, straighten, back in, and lower it down. Out to the side, straighten, back in, and lower. Out to the side, straighten, in, and lower. Side, straighten, in, and lower. We've got two more. Out to the side, straighten, in, and lower. Out to the side, straighten, in, and lower. Spit your hand out and stretch. Really pull back so you're going to move out your arms and your back. Good. Now you can come down. What's your dance? And I'm busy at my stopwatch. Apparently, it's quite echoey. But then that's because the horse feed, isn't it? Yeah. I think there's a lot we can do about echoing. Yeah. Yeah. If you really need a curtain straw, you can find it. 
Now I haven't got my ball, so you might find me going down onto one knee, okay? Because I can't remember where I've gone No. No, you must be heavy. Because <laughs> we're on your end, we're on your end. Are you ready? Elbows up and shoulders. We're just going to do three long minutes tonight, nothing too much. So I can check to see how people are doing. You <laughs> <laughs> better call. Touch your knees. <laughs> Tilt. Cross your knees. Ready? Ready? Two. Lengthen, out your shoulders, nice, deep. Breathe in. And sadly, you can't chat while we're doing the kind of breathing that we do. There we go. Okay, knees down, relax. Right, so same stretching as we've been doing, it's stretch back. If you can't, you don't have to with this. Keep your hips on the mat though, because you're doing your stretch. And if you want to, you can stretch back as well. <laughs> if you want to be fast, I don't know. Because I don't know what you've been doing, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. Back into position, number two. Shoulders, think about your core, into your knees, tilt, or should be engaged, ready, release. Lengthen, melt your shoulders, nice, deep, breathe in. Knees down, relax. Well done. If you want to stretch, please do. Last one, in fact. Right, ready for number three. It's like I'm being nice to do this, okay? <laughs> okay, elbows up and shoulders. Back to four. Come up onto your knees. Tilt, of course, you'll be engaged. That's if you're lifting. In your body, melt your shoulders, nice, deep, breathe in. Okay, 
Stretch if you wish. Stay in that front so that it's right. Let's do it in pieces. So you're not using your glutes, then engage your core, which is the way you go to the mat. Ready, with both arms on the floor, bring the elbows to the sides, put them back up, and relax them down. Lift them up, elbows in, back, out, relax down. Lift up, elbows in, back, out, relax down. Lift up, elbows in, back, out, relax down. Lift up, elbows in. to do a side plank because my niece Georgie is going back to university next week <laughs> and she's done every class with my sister and she hates side planks. <laughs> so I thought we'd share some side planks with her this evening. Obviously you've got your choice, three choices. You're going to bend your bottom knee, you're going to put one on top of the other or you're going to put one in front of the other. If you've got a bad shoulder, then you bend that bottom knee, like I'm going to be doing, that bad shoulder. I'm just going to sort of lie down here. Because I suddenly thought, without it, I guess. Right, lift the waist as high as you can. Engage your core. And ready, lift. Arm in the air, breathe. We're doing 30 seconds, that's all. Just let your shoulder please come down. Ten seconds. Relax. Such control. Right, we're going to go to the other side. So roll yourself over. And then we'll come back again because I don't want to do more than one on each side at a time. Because I'm doing it with you. So, one of three positions again. Okay, bend the knee in front or one on top of the other. It's entirely up to you. Keep the waist nice and high. Top hip or the bottom hip. Engage your core. And ready, lift. Nice, deep breathing. Thank you. 
Get in one of three positions, make sure the hip stays on top of the other one, waist is as high as you can manage, more engaged, and ready, good, lengthen, breathe, Fantastic. Well done. Good. Sit up here. Right. Remember our rugby challenge. The elbow out. I just want to see. Please. This is just for me. We're doing two with the elbows out, just so I can see how well you did. <laughs> okay. You can start lying down if you want. I like the starting. Just remember when you're coming up, you want that slight bend with the knees. It's really hard to change what you've been doing for some of these years, but because I know that it's what you should be doing, you've just got to do it. Okay? So sit up nice and tall, get your elbows wide, chin up chest, engage your core. Ready? Just want to see you lower it down. Nice control. The slower you go, the better. Chill up your chest. Okay. Just remember to keep your elbows as wide as you can. Slide bend with the knees. Are you ready? Let's start with. It's just waiting for one to get up. Right, we're going to do one more. Okay, keep the elbows wide. Flatten your legs when you go down. Slow control. Don't hold your breath. Okay, when you get to the floor, keep the elbows wide. Start bending the knees. And come up. Okay, two. Take your arms. I'm not going to tell you my soul, okay? So we're now going to be in your usual position, across your chest, on your thighs, engage your core, and let's go. <laughs> this is going to be perfect. Slow control. It's just nice for dominant to get some control back in. Slight bend in the knees to come back up. Slower you come up, the better, remember. You're coming up to the ceiling, straighten the legs, and then stretch forward. Up to the ceiling, and you are. Good, slight bend. Get 
to the ceiling, straighten your legs, stretch your knees. Stretch your ceiling, your legs. Rest if you need to. Watch the ceiling, straighten the legs, rip the knees. Well done, get your legs maximum apart. You see how good this one's got as well. So we're doing the one I hate, touching the opposite of the um, heel. It should, because of doing those and reaching forward, you should palm to actually move it a bit further. You should. Get your arms out to the sides. Open up the shoulders. Piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling. Engage your core and turn. And stretch. And back up. So remember with this, we're going to imprint and activate, okay? So ready? Imprint, activate those glutes, and nice and slowly up, as high as you can. Keep them activated the whole way up and down. But now we're going down, vertebrae, by vertebrae. And then when you get to the floor, relax. Good. Invent, activate, lift. All the way to the top. And slowly down. And release. Invent, activate, lift. All the way and slowly down. Relax it a little. Okay, one more like this. Imprint, activate, lift. Find the crown. Slowly down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And good. Now, this time when we get to the highest point, we're just going to extend the leg. Okay, just extend the leg back down, right, then left. So nothing too difficult. Okay? And 
to force to engage, input, activate, link. Keep those hips up as high as you can. Are you ready? Right there. Good. And lower. Left. Extend. And lower. Come back down. Try and keep those hips activated even when you lift. Keep it, activate, up. Highest point, forward to the top. Are you ready? Extend the right. And lower. Extend the left. And lower. Down. 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 Top, right, extend, and low. Left, extend, and low. Come back down, break, break, Okay, we're going straight into dry stretching. If you've got your glasses and you want to use them, please grab them. And you're going to pop the glasses over. Take one foot to the floor and then straighten the other leg. Pop to the ceiling, keep it as straight as you can, and then when you're good, when you're good, pull it. Definitely not as good stretching without the glasses. Sat down, place that foot onto the other knee. Take it as wide as you can. If you're pushing down the top of your hand on the inside of your knee, or lifting the other one towards the other knee. Whichever is most comfortable for you. Sat down, put your glasses over the other arm, knee in the chest, straighten the leg, straight as you can, and then when you're comfortable with it, pull it. Now put onto the knee again. You can push down the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee or put the other arm towards you. Feel that stretch.
knees back now, take both legs out straight, put your arms on your head, and get as much distance as you can between your fingers and your toes. And your body moving through the square. Again, throw out thoracic breathing, so either by your side or on my abdominals, whichever is most comfortable for you. We breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, you're pushing out through your abdominals and taking the air from the blow down in your diaphragm as you can. When you breathe out, you're pulling through your abdominals in order to extend as much as you can. Slowly come up to seated position. Legs out straight, toes in towards you, toes in towards you, touch your toes. Toes in towards And now you can bend your knees and put your hands on the floor. And then come forward, straighten the legs and slowly rise up. Good boy, don't let you go down on my knees, so it doesn't actually see me. Well done. It's lovely to be back. We have back to the Thank you.